Hello and welcome back guys. In this video, I would be telling you how to find the center of curvature and hence the radius of curvature of a point using Euler-Savary equation. Before starting with the video, I would like to say that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel and please check out the links in the description. From there you can buy made easy books at a discounted price by clicking on the links and if you find this video helpful please watch it till the end please uh, comment and like this video and now starting with the video this is the configuration diagram that is it was given something like this here it was slider this was this was fixed link this was crank o a o a and you have to find center of curvature for this point c that is you have to find point c dash so c c dash would be your radius of curvature for this point this was given as b this was slider all right so this was the diagram so how you have to proceed first since euler savary equation is equal to ai square is equal to a a dash into a a double dash so here we can use that uh, first we have to find i that is instantaneous center for this link now which instantaneous center or which i center we have to find we have to find i13 why we have to find i13 remember i would i am telling you a trick see this is the fixed link 1 okay, all right 1 crank is 2 this whole link ab is 3 and slider is 4 so there are four links you have to find i center of that link in which you want to find the center of curvature suppose here you have to find center of curvature and hence radius of curvature for point c so you have to take and it lies on the link 3 so you have to find i center of this with respect to fixed so it would be i13 suppose if you have to find of uh, like here so you would you would be taking i12 because this lies on this link here this c point is an extension it lies on th third link so you have to find i13 you have all you have to find always with respect to fixed that is i1 will will always come now on which link it lies here it lies on 3 so i13 and here if i have to find of this point so i1 and here it lies on link 2 so i12 so here we have to find i13 now how to find i13 you can draw this 1 2 3 4 so i13 one, 13 three, one, three. so we can go by i12 and 23 1 2 2 3 and 1 3 so 1 4 and 4 3 you can go like this or you can go like this so you will be reaching i13 all right so 1 4 and 4 3 so i13 would be the intersection of the line joining these i centers so i12 is known this is i12 this is point i12 this is 2 3 this is 2 3 this is 1 4 1 4 would be infinity because it is sliding motion i14 and 4 3 this would be 4 3 
और थ्री फोर एनी वे और राइट सो एक्सटेंड वन टू एंड टू थ्री ज्वाइन वन टू एंड टू थ्री दिस इज ऑलरेडी ज्वाइंड सो यू मेक एक्सटेंशन एंड वन फोर एंड फोर थ्री दिस इज थ्री फोर और फोर थ्री एंड वन फोर इज एट इन्फिनिटी सो यू प्रोड्यूस इट लाइक दिस सो सम वॉट आई वुड बी हेयर हेयर आई हैव फाउंड आई यू कैन सी आई हैव एक्सटेंडेड आई हैव एक्सटेंडेड दिस वन टू टू थ्री एक्सटेंडेड वन फोर ऑलरेडी इनफाइनाइट एंड थ्री फोर एक्सटेंडेड सो वेर एवर दे इंटरसेक्ट इट वुड बी आई नाउ कंसिडर दिस वॉज ए नाउ टू फाइंड ए डैश दैट वॉज कॉन्जुगेट पॉइंट रिमेंबर दैट ऑन अ लिंक दैट इज फिक्सड ऑल राइट so this is the conjugate point of this point that is it can be said as a dash so here o is equal to a dash so we can measure the distance oa is equal to a a dash since o is equal to a dash so a a dash distance you already know and ai distance you can measure from taking the scale a and i between a and i you can measure so ai square is equal to a a dash into a a double dash a a dash you already know that is oa distance since a dash it can be said as a dash because it is the conjugate point of a always remember that the fixed fixed link is already always the conjugate point of the of the point at the extreme end here a is at the extreme end of this link and at o is fixed so o can be said as conjugate point of a or o can be said as a dash so a dash you can measure ai you can measure by putting in this formula a dash a double dash can be found out all right and now a double dash would lie on the same line so you pro extend this line and by measuring by calculating a dash then you can measure from a you can measure it backwards so you will get point a double dash all right now you have got a double dash now to, we have to find originally we have to find c dash that is conjugate point of c which is on this link but before that we have to draw the inflection circle now what is inflection circle inflection circle is the locus of all the points which have conjugate point at infinity that means to draw the inflection circle what you you have to do first you have to draw a circle passing from a double dash i and b all right now how to draw you can join a double dash and i you you join then you take perpendicular bisector also you can join i and b you take perpendicular bisector wherever they intersect that would be the center of your inflection circle then you take the radius from this this is the point that is this is the inflection pole it is p that is the center of the inflection circle or inflection pole now measure a double dash p and you take compass and taking this this as the radius you draw a circle it would be passing through a double dash b as well as i if it does not pass that means you have done some mistake i am repeating again what you have to do you have to join ib you have to make perpendicular bisector of ib it would be somewhat like this all right and you have to join a double dash i or you can join a double dash b any and you take perpendicular bisector all right 
wherever these two perpendicular bisector intersect this is the point p or the inflection pole and you can take the radius a double dash p and draw a circle this this the, the circle will pass through a double dash b and i your inflection circle is made now we have to find the we have to find the conjugate point of c that is c dash we have to find c dash hence we have to measure the distance c c dash it would be the radius of curvature this is the answer now first we have to find c dash how to find c dash since c you join c with i and you extend it backwards wherever it intersects it would be point c double dash just like we did here we have found i we joined we projected back we know the distance a double dash a so we have found a double dash now similarly we join c with i extend backwards wherever it cuts the circle that point would be c double dash all right now we have to find c dash now so you measure c this distance c c double dash you measure you measure and ci you already know now again applying euler savary ci square is equal to cc dash into cc double dash you know this you know this you can find out cc dash c is this point so c c dash would be somewhat here and you can measure all right so c dash would come out to be like i have found out c c dash is equal to 6.9 mm this i have found for this question c dash would come somewhat here so you can measure c c dash you can measure this distance this is your radius of curvature for c point all right and this is your answer and hence the question is solved if you find this video helpful you please give a like and check out the links for the discounted price of the books and you buy the books from these links and comment any doubt regarding this video or if you want me to explain another topic or solve some problem show you some example tutorial you mention that also in the comment section and be safe be happy and bye bye